Hey everybody, Dave here from Iographer. Just wanted to show you how to make a quick uh, timer in uh, Final Cut Pro so that you can use it on your Facebook or uh, other live venues that you do live video on. And so we're in Final Cut Pro 10 and uh, inside here I've got uh, my title right here that I can move around and I wrote going live in and then here is the timer that we're going to build, uh, that we're going to build, excuse me. The background is, of course, this down here, um, so I can scale it or zoom out or do all kinds of stuff with that. Um, so first, though, we need to make a new project, and we're just going to call this Timer Demo. Up, <coughs> oh, we're going to call this, I did that already, we're going to call this Timer Demo 2. And there we go. And then uh, we're going to go here, we're in Timer Demo 2. Oops, Timer Demo 2, sorry. And I'm now going to go into this little T here, and I'm going to click in Generators, and we'll just go here. And if you go into the Generators tab, there's all these generators, and if you scroll down, you should see Time Code, which is right here. And then we're going to do that. <clears throat> and then for argument's sake, I'm going to make this uh, just, uh, we'll go to, let's see, we'll go to, one minute, which is right there. So here's a timer for one minute. It's going to go blah, 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 blah to one minute. So a couple of things we don't need is we don't need to say project. We don't need a bazillion zeros. So let's go in here and clean this up a little bit. So I'm going to take out the word project. So I just have that. Um, we're using regular time. So we're going to uh, keep that. We can change the colors. Oops, excuse me change the colors, we can also move this. So I like to center it up here a little higher. And then I'll maybe bring the size up because we can always bring it down in our next, uh, in Final Cut Pro when we're uh, editing it. So I'll just leave that here for now. Actually, I'll center it even more here because I'm gonna cut these out because we don't need all these for now. But, uh, so we'll leave that alone. I can change the color here if I want to, to green. I can do, make the background into purple. I mean, I can do a million things. So um, we'll put that back to black for now. And that's all we need to do. So we're gonna just render this out and I'm just gonna go to file and we're gonna go share. I'm just gonna create a master file. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to go next. I'll have it on the desktop. There we go. And this little clock up here should show us how fast it renders. It's almost done. And so the big problem here, of course, is that you're seeing that we're going from zero to one minute. Um, so we're not in our timer that we're going to show the world. We don't want them to start at zero and go to the end of the timer. It's not time. It's like showing us the um, advance of time and not the decrease of time. So that's my final thing. And now I'm going to go and uh, do a new, oh, wrong program. We're going to go into File New Project again. And we're going to call this uh, Timer Demo to Final. And um, we're going to go there. And now I'm going to uh, <clears throat> bring in, I'm going to press Command I or go File Import. And on my desktop, we're going to look for a uh, timer demo, where is it? There it is right there. I'm going to import that. And then I'm just going to grab it and bring it down here. And once again, you see it's moving the wrong way. So we're going to select it. And let me see if I right click again, is it? No. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to go to clip. Um, where is it? Where is it? I always forget where to put it. Um, here we go. Um, we're going to go into Modify, uh, and then we're going to Retime, and then we're going to do Reverse Clip. Modify, Retime, Reverse Clip. And there we have it. And now we're going to start at a minute, and we're going to start counting down to zero. So once we have that, now we can just add uh, our image below. And um, I'll just uh, use myself again. And so I'm going to put this below me and stretch it out. And 
and then you see this and then we're going to crop this now because this is of course too big and we don't want it there so i'm going to do the free transform tool and i'm going to bring this over a little bit so that it wants to move <laughs> there we go or is it move up oh, sorry moving my background uh, let's click on this one there we go and I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to bring it over here. And then I'm going to crop these sides here. So I'm going to do, I could do the crop tool, which is the free, free transform. I can just slide these across. But I'm just going to grab this, start to, oops, it's very hard on, this, on my MacBook Pro. It's easier on my iMac. All right, forget that. I'm going to use these tools right here. So I'm going to crop it to like right there. I'm going to crop it over to there. I'm going to crop it down a little bit there. And let's see, it will go right there. And I'm going to press done. And I've still got these two little numbers there. So I think I'll, uh, let me see if I can do left a little more. There we go. There we go. Done now. Let's go back to my free transform tool and move this more centered. And I could scale this up if I want. And change it there. And then we go back to one. And I'll press done to get that out of the way. Now I can press the, oops, I can press the button. It's going backwards, 59, 58. And of course you can go in here and add any text that you want as well. Coming soon, today we're talking about blah, blah, blah. And then my photo, maybe it's a little too small. I can click on my picture here and then I can zoom that in. Do that right there and use my transform tool to drag it down so my logo's there. So that looks better to me. And then once again, I'm gonna just drag this um, and we'll move this over a little bit so it's more centered, maybe right underneath there. And we're done. And then you can go into text and write whatever you want, find a text that you like and just say, um, you know, you can do animated stuff. Uh, let's see, I have something fun here. Uh, let's see what we can do here. I can add little graphics, little call outs. I mean, there's so many things I can do um, with all these different plugins I have. But just so you can just add a simple text in there and then it'll say, you know, whatever you want it to say. I have all the space. So you can put it however you want it. It's all customizable. That's all. Hope this guy's, uh, hope this helped you and uh, we'll see you soon.